What is up, beautiful? You're about to learn how to blow like a pro, and I'm your teacher. Ooh, ooh, boy, do I have the tips, the tricks, all the things to get your hair softer, smoother, straighter, sleeker, sexier, and have your blowout last two times longer. Most of y'all watching, I know you don't know how to do it right, and this is my way of helping you help yourself help your hair. Bring in my client. Bring her in. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello. What? Oh, ow! Ow! Yo, she just hit me. They get more and more wild as we go. Like, it's not that serious. You literally have one job, and it's just to sit there and look pretty and have good hair, you know? Like, I want your job, to be honest. Like, do I? No. I don't want your job. All right, well, they don't call me the blow pro for nothing. Let's get into the thick of it, shall we? Okay. Hello. There are many things that you should do when you blow out your hair. Let's start with the basics. Let's brush our hair. Use a detangling brush, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced at blow drying. There's always something you can learn. And today I have the things for each and every one of you. We're first starting off with one of the most important steps. It's such a basic step, but I need you to listen. So many people are always like, Brad, why does my hair never turn out the way you do it in the salon? And I'm like, <sighs> because you don't use the correct products. Products are so, so key to getting your hair so smooth. You can transform the most ratty, nasty, dry, crusty hair into a silk, sleek, sexy masterpiece of a blowout. And you need the right products to do that. Like an oil or a cream or anything that hydrates, smooths, defrizzes, those kinds of properties are amazing. You should also use a heat protectant that is great to do. Third, if the hair is super limp and lifeless and doesn't have a lot of body naturally, a volumizing product can just save your entire life your being, your everything. It's really dramatic, but I mean it. I like to just like put everything in the hair, all right? So we're gonna start off with putting some force field heat shield to protect our hair and make the hair last longer because it does have a little hold in it. So it is going to make the style last and that is so important. If you want your blow dry to last, here is your tip number one for that. I'm also putting the Calibrate Bomb Repair Leave-In Treatment. This is going to literally make her hair feel like silk, you guys. I like to really focus this on the ends. That is where we're getting that dry, that crack, and that slack, and that ugly. But I also like to bring it up to the top after. Get on those layers, those ends, and that is going to significantly help this blow just become the most sexy and sleekest thing ever. Now, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Hydromania Conditioning Mist in so that when we blow out the hair, it really glides down the brush and we don't get any knots or tangles, really just mist this all over. That is honestly one of the most important steps, <laughs> but we have more. Where is my comb? The amount of hair tools I have and I still just can't find a comb, like what is up with that? Part your hair wherever, you know? Now, if you're anything like Miss Manny Quayne, she has very wet hair and you you don't want to blow dry this like this. Unless you have extremely curly hair, this is too wet. If you have very light wave in your hair, blow dry that shit to like 80%. If you have medium to heavy wave in your hair, we'll say 60% dry. And then if you have really curly hair, like really curly, coily hair, I wouldn't recommend um, rough drying at all. I might end up changing those numbers because I can't really think and do this at the same time. All right, so she is parted. Before we go on rough dry, do you know the next step of what is most important? Mostly everybody besides Miss Maniquin has a hairline. Well, she has a hairline but her hairline is very smooth, very soft, very silky. But most people, it's this is where the frizz comes into play. I had to make sure that I get my product, by the way, on that hairline. Products help defrizz. It helps keep the hair down and last longer. All right, so I got that product right on there. Beautiful. And now the first thing I'm gonna do to get a little volume in the front and also to just get it smooth from the start all around the edges is blow dry the edges first. This brings us to our next biggest tip. This one, I keep on saying this for everyone, but this might be the biggest one. Use a good blow dryer. I'm telling you guys, the drugstore blow dryer that was $20 is not gonna give you that great of a blowout. It'll make it go so much slower, it'll be so much more painful, and your ends will never be as, ooh, sexy, crisp, sleek, and sexy. So let me show you the blow dryer that I use. Oh, and today's video is sponsored by Lifen. You guys have probably seen this blow dryer in my videos already. I have been using it, I've been testing it. Whenever a company comes and says, hey, we wanna do a deal with you, I'm like, well, let me just actually give this a go for a while and see if I like it first, because I am very, very, very serious about my blow dryers. And if this was wasn't gold, like not actually gold, but gold, gold standard. I wouldn't be telling you about it. Thank you Lifen for sponsoring today's video. You're a real one. Can we just talk about the sexiness of this thing? Oh, look at that concentration nozzle. Ooh, ah, 
Gorgeous, whoa. One of my favorite things about this blow dryer is that it lights up. <laughs> Honestly, I love aesthetics. This makes me feel like I'm doing something way more fun than just blow drying, which is also really fun. They also made it so easy. So there's not a bunch of buttons on the back of this thing, okay? Cause I hate it. I hate when I'm all like, why are there so many buttons here? Like which ones do I press? So we got three speed settings. You go, ooh, one and two, boom, done. This is the first blow dryer ever to have a cool warm hot function. And that means that if you press this button down for two seconds, you will see this light up in all different colors and it is automatically transitioning from hot to warm to cool so that you can do your blowout without having to change the heat constantly. Easy as hell. This also has technology built into it that monitors the heat as you blow dry your hair so you're not applying too much heat on your hair. You don't have to worry about burning and making your hair out crispy and nasty because some blow dryers really be in there making your hair so gross and it's so nasty. And we got our three different chasmers. We got our ooh, sexy, sexy nozzle that really is skinny and gets your hair nice and silky soft for that blowout. And we got our wider nozzle and they are all magnetic, like very easy to use. It just feels right. You know, it's like, and then we also have our diffuser, which is also just fabulous and great, 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 great for curly hair or great for short hair like mine. I like to just go like this when my hair dries. So it's nice and wavy and textured. Three great attachments. They feel so sturdy and sexy and really have that good grip to them. I cannot express to you enough how important it is to use a good blow dryer. And if you want to check this baby out, my favorite blow dryer right now, you can click the link right down below. And if you use the code BRAD20 right now, you can get $10 off your order of your life and blow dryer. And they're also on Amazon. You can shop them there and use the coupon on their Amazon page. Cause I got you. Let's get this baby into action. And um, I'm gonna start with this wider nozzle to just rough dry her hair. I love a nozzle cause I love just having direction on my blowout. Um, also another tip, you need to use a nozzle. I'm not taking no for an answer on this one. These will help you so much speed up your blow dry instead of just letting the air go everywhere. You know, you need a concentration. You need to direct it somewhere. You need to direct that hair down. So you get that frizziness down on your head. If you're going like this, you're gonna get your hair so frizzy and gross. It's not gonna be cute. Don't do that. So let's go in on that hairline and get it nice and flat. So I'm gonna take the hair, pull it back and just get in there with the blow dryer as close as possible. All right, we got the front hairline blow dried. That is exactly how you should do it yourself. You should be nice and dry now. And with that nice volume in the front. Now let's get this nice and rough dried. I'm gonna go to like 80, 90% with her hair because her hair is already straight. You wanna put that tension on the hair with your hands to get that smoothness started. Use your hand kind of as a brush and follow with the blow dryer. All right, we are about 80% dry. That took like one minute with the life and like literally her hair went from wet to dry before I was done even speaking. Okay, we're gonna do my favorite sectioning. If you followed my channel ever, you would know that I do this for literally everything because it makes everything so much easier. When you're doing a blow, you wanna start on the edges, the outer rim of your hair because that is where the toughest hair is. That is where you get all that curl, all that frizz. And that is the first thing people see when they look at your head. So we're doing a halo section, okay? So we're just taking a circle out of the center of of the head, leaving the entire perimeter down. I like to work with really big sections, so I'm gonna leave a lot of hair out. And this is just gonna be kind of small in the center. That is what that looks like. All right, this is literally what I do for everything. I just found it to be the easiest when you're doing these speedy, fast, precise though, blow dryers. Blow blow dries. All right, we're changing our life in blow dryer nozzle to the very, precise one because I love this one. Oh my God, it gets that airflow right in that root. You can go right up to the scalp to make sure everything is super smooth and sexy. Okay, tip time while I clean my brush. <laughs> Actually, this is a good tip. Make sure you clean your brushes, dude. Don't be using a brush with hair in it. It ruins the blowout. You're basically blocking the hair from getting that heat on it. The heat from the ceramic is what makes it so smooth and sleek and shiny. If you have a bunch of hair on your brush that is blocking your hair from laying directly on top of that ceramic plate, then your hair is never gonna be that smooth. So get the hair out. And also it's just like gross. Like me, I'm like, I clean my makeup brushes. Like, like never. And I'm like, make sure you clean your brushes because it's like gross. Uh, okay, <laughs> where am I? Section your blowouts, okay? You don't have to do small sections, but you need to section. Taking that second to section will speed everything up. I always work right above the ear first. This is my section. That is how big I like it. All right, we're gonna go side to side. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'll be back to show you the next section. 
Oh my God, I almost forgot to tell you the most important tip of all. Let's get into how to hold this. Tension is your friend in a blow dry. It's all about the tension, okay? So you should learn this. The brush goes on top. I'm literally gripping it, okay? The finger goes on the bottom. You are now pulling on the hair as hard as you can. And you are getting those roots nice and dry first. Then we go into the mid section. We then blow dry the mids, get those all nice and smooth. And then we move on to the ends. We follow all the way through to the bottom of the hair until the hair falls off of the brush. So that is when you know you got those ends nice and good. If you want more volume, lift the hair up. If you want less volume, bring the hair and drag it downwards. I'm gonna go for less volume today. Now let's not forget, the more you let the heat sit on the hair, you can think of this as like a curling iron. When you use a ceramic brush, the longer you let it sit on the hair, the more curlier the hair would be. So I am just letting it sit for a second. You can also do a cool shot, super easy with the blow dryer, pop it on there. And I'm going to then twist the hair out of the brush and you get that amazing volume and curl. Oh, ho, ho. wow. Her hair is so, so soft. So that is the basics of it. Next tip, make sure you use the right brush for your hair type and your goals, all right? There's a video of mine below on which brush to choose. All right, I'm gonna finish this side and then I'm gonna go into the other and do the same exact thing. All right, we have this side all complete. Now to make this just look extra beautiful and crisp and Sexy. We're gonna just set the sides real quick. All right, we're gonna just do a little loop-de-loop -loop and place a clip in. I only really do this to the sides or the top of the hair just to add that extra bounce right in the front of the head. I don't wanna set the entire head, but I still want the effect as if I set it. So let's do the other side. And now depending on how big your hair is, we'll section this into either two or three sections. I'm just gonna do two and we're gonna blow dry the same exact way. And yeah, I'll see you then. When you're taking big sections like this, it's important to work the blow dryer around the root. We're gonna go on one side, the next side, the next side, as many sides as you possibly can to make sure those roots are dry in every single direction. Next section is across the head. Boom, we got this, we got this. Section this into two, finish the baby up. This part is going to be really important. We're not gonna do the volume in this section, okay? We don't want volume in the back of our head. That looks weird. We want to do the volume when we get up to here and I will show you that when I get there. Now, her hair is obviously pretty smooth naturally, but if your hair has like a curl in it, right? And you keep blowing it out and blowing it out and their hair is completely dry and there's still that wave in it and it's not looking right, that means you have to go in with water, okay? Sometimes water is the only thing that will take that crimp out of the hair and you kind of have to start over again. So like say if this had that really bad crimp that's just not going anywhere, first of all, make sure it doesn't, the water doesn't get on any other sections because water equals frizz usually. So we're gonna go like this and just get that crimp out before we then go and blow dry it again. This is especially good for you curly hair people. You need to know that because if you have those curls in there and they're dry and they're not moving, you gotta wet. All right, now that we are at the crown of the head, this is where your volume comes into play. Let's blow dry all of this as forward as we can so we get that nice volume underneath so that your hair doesn't look lifeless and limp unless you're going for that look because that's also a vibe. Now, if you want that extra, extra bounce, which I love everything extra, we're gonna put our life in blow dryer on the cool setting. We're gonna set this into place just like five, 10, 15 seconds, however long you wanna wait. Probably like five seconds because I don't like to wait too long. And then we'll drop it out and you'll see how much volume you get when you actually set the curl with cold air. Oh, baby. Look at that. Do you see how much volume is in here? Look at this one. Standing up straight, that is exactly what I want. Okay, that looks gorgeous, but we're not exactly going for that look today, but like, woof, she got that volume. I'm gonna bring that down just a little bit and I'm gonna finish off the other side. <laughs> okay, a little more. We don't need that much. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Now, if your head looks all crazy like this right now, that is totally good. That is totally fine. Like literally the best blowouts are sometimes like they look the craziest before they're all finished. Like she looks awful, <laughs> but it's gonna look fabulous. Like I watch. Finishing product. Today we're using our Viper Smoothing Oil, the classic, the one, the only, the softest 
in the world. I like to put a little oil on my hand, just a little boop boop, do like this. And now we are gonna start in the back and just rake our hands through. This puts like that gorgeous shine on his ends, moisturizes the hair. All right, we're gonna now take down the sides. You're gonna see that bounce, that volume. Look at that, okay. And we're gonna rake this back away from the face. Take the entire section away from the face. Ooh, hold on. Get some of those blow dry lines out. Oh, she is looking good. This is her blowout. I went with like a very soft blow. I raked out a lot of those curls with my fingers after to make everything more smooth and light and airy and more of that like straighter blown out look. Like I wasn't living for the curls on her. It all depends on your hair type and what look you're going for. I wanted her to look a little bit more modern. So I kind of messed it up a bit. And look, if we mess it up a lot, like this is the blowout vibe for me. Like this is how I'd be wearing my hair. That is hot. A blowout? should be very versatile and be able to do whatever you want and however you mold it after the blowout is complete. Like I can make this into so many different styles. It can be curly, it can be wavy, it can be straight and it'll all look amazing. And look at how much volume she has. But there's no frizz. It's a white wall and her hair is dark on top and you can't see anything because I blow dried this shit. Right. Thank you, Ms. Maddie Quinn. You're amazing. Thank you for being my client today. Wow. I hope you learned something today. Um, and if you didn't, you can just lie to me and say that you did. So. Thank you. <laughs> I love blow drying hair and the art of blow drying is something that we can all master. Uh, you just need to practice. I've done hundreds, if not thousands of blow dries in my lifetime, so you can do it. You just need to be patient. Anyways, that is all for today, guys. Thanks again to Lifen for sponsoring the blow dry video today with your amazing blow dryer. You can shop the Lifen blow dryer right down below. And if you wanna shop my hair care products, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.